All right, guys, we're at the field, and we're gonna put a maiden flight on this Riddick, of the CCM Riddick. And uh, do you know why they named it Riddick, John? I have no idea. Why is that? Because <laughs> it's petite and dainty, like <laughs> like Vin Diesel. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, all right, uh, CG's like 48. I took somebody's advice in the comment section. I forget your name, but I toned down my elevator travel. This thing might be kind of spicy, so. Um, should I hand launch it or should I just go for it? Just go for it. Just go for it? Or, might, not, might as well. Just gonna test the motor. All right, screw it, let's go for it. It's kind of hard to throw. Oh, I got that. <laughs> Good. Looks like a winner. <laughs> All right, well, it went uh, straight down. <laughs> Holy shit, that thing went straight down. Um, all right, let's put some up on it. Is it okay? Oh, I tried to pull up, but there was, there was nothing there, so maybe maybe need a little maybe more up. Throws were too low, <laughs> so I put it into mid rates. All right, All right. round two. I might I might just pitch it like a glider. Okay. okay ready? Oh. Oh. There we go. <laughs> it likes to go fast, it looks like. It's, I think it's uh, very tail heavy. It feels like it's tail heavy. So like, it won't hold, uh, it won't hold the pitch position, like. So yeah, maybe tail heavy. That makes sense. Dude, launching it is sketch, man. Seems that way. <laughs> there it is. I gotcha. Oh, it disappeared. I was hoping it would fly like, remember that, uh, was it Dream Flight? Yeah. Alula? Alula, yeah. Guys with like three flights. I think it's possible when you get the right settings and everything. Yeah. It definitely is like a little more high performance machine than that, so. Dude, the elevator is crazy. You point it up, it goes up. You pitch it, pitch it down, it goes down. Like it won't. Did you get it trimmed at least? Well, it, it's, it, it doesn't really, because if I trim it down, it goes down, then I pull up. You know what I mean? Like it won't, mm. it won't settle in a cruise. Like it'll just. Yeah, it's just too tail heavy. Yeah. Probably. Makes sense. So... It's so squirrely under power. That's nice. It's got to be impressive. But it's a little windy out right now. Yeah. And it's like turbulent windy, not just windy. Yeah, but something doesn't feel right to me. I sh shouldn't try to use the rudder because there is no. <laughs> keep, trying, keep trying to move the rudder stick. All right, I'm going to land it. Okay. Glides well. I mean, I imagine like its aspect ratio is pretty good, so it should glide fast, yeah. but cover a lot of ground. See how it's like. See this? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here comes the landing. Oh. 
Oh. oh. <laughs> oh Double God. tap. Uh, all right, I moved the battery uh, forward as far as I could, so I'm sure that changed the CG at least a millimeter or two. And this thing is super, super squirrely. <laughs> So far, it's not been relaxing to fly. <laughs> Is it supposed to be relaxing? I don't know. Doesn't it look relaxing? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it would be, you know, doing some lazy thermals. Launching it's not easy. Is Vin Diesel relaxing though? Dude, it's Vin supposed Diesel. to be like Vin Diesel, right? Vin Diesel's doing me wrong right now. <laughs> All right, I'm scared to throw it. Huh? Here we go. Let's go straight down. Everybody. Throw it up. I won't throw up, I'll throw the thing. Okay. There you go. Uh oh. Alright, we got something now. We got something now. Oh. Whoa. Aerobatic, too, I see. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Way better. Way better. Put some up trim in it. Feels a lot easier. Dude, it's like night and day. The elevator is like reasonable now. Props making weird noise. Like it's... I might need to put a flight mode in it, honestly, so I could trim the. Because it climbs under power. Oh uh, yeah. Some motor flight mode. Yeah. Good. Wow. Something, man. <laughs> <laughs> Something. I think that CG range is a little off. <laughs> I think you maybe put it even further forward if you can, oh, or yeah, add like try. a little bit of nose weight. I might, I might, I think I can move the speaker for a little bit, and then I'll be able to get the battery a little further forward. Yeah. I think I might need to take a break right now. <laughs> okay. We got Butler on the sticks here. So, forward CG definitely helped. I've been thermaling it a lot actually. Yeah. It does thermal. Um, and I put a mix the uh, throttle to elevator, so got some down elevator when you give it gas like on a curve and that really helped out so it's actually flying really well now it's just the freaking launches man I definitely climbed up yeah I like every time I throw it I just throw it, it goes straight for the ground <laughs> even if I throw it straight up it goes straight for the ground it's like the scary part It definitely comes down when there's not lift. Yeah. You can tell. Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, I was doing a bunch of rolls and stuff, so. There's lift here, too. This thing is definitely better suited for the slope, but she is thermaling. It's pretty light. It, it weighs 11.8 uh, 11, 11 ounces. 336 grams. 
It's so funny, I like want to use rudder. Yeah, there's I'm no like, rudder. I'm like, where's my rudder? This is what happens when 5J guys fly like <laughs> slope stuff. <laughs> where's my rudder? Like, where are the switches? Where's the camber? Where's the rudder? Yeah, it's all lift in there. I can't really, I don't even know how high you are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom out and see. Oh yeah. Let's see if I'll find you again. Sinks well. And left. I remember the throttle is on the uh, yeah. throttle stick. Who would have? This thing. This thing is definitely hard to film. Oh, there you are. Yeah, it is. Right? It's 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 not a 5J plane. It's a little small. It doesn't fill the whole camera and a whole. Yeah, don't land it. Give it, give it the throttle, because yeah. <laughs> I don't want to throw it again. All right, I'm gonna... It's not even half throttle. It likes to climb pretty good. I was like using rudder, <laughs> even though there's no rudder. Yep. There we go. Let's go back up one more time. There's no rudder and there's no camber switch. And when it stalls, it basically just points straight for the ground. Mm -hmm. Usually flying wings have like a straight ahead mild stall, but well maybe those are more like zaggies. I guess this thing is more like a plank. Pretty easy to fly. Yeah. I'm telling you it's it's just a launch. Just a launch. Ooh, this might be the thumbnail. Can I thermal it? Oh, come on. Ah, I'm so close. I, th I think I'm going to make the viewers throw up. <laughs> it's so hard to film this. It's like, yeah, it's really hard, right? Yeah. And it's like hard because if you zoom in, then it doesn't catch it. Yeah. Well, you can try to land it if you want. Okay. It just wants to keep going up. It's like hard to want to land it right now. Okay. Look at all that lift. Don't get uh, center punched by whatever is flying right now. <laughs> oh. It sounds fast. I dare not take my eyes off the the Riddick or else I'll okay. lose it. I'm bringing it in. All right. Yeah, I thermaled it out from like, yeah. I don't know, what was that, 15? I don't know, I can't see the ground in them. I would say it was 15 Down wind, and here we go. <laughs> this thing just wants to carry energy. Yeah, <laughs> I had to keep going around. To... Alright, we've overshot I'm it. going for a walk, it's alright. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry. <Aww. laughs> it's alright. We're right, gonna do like a little after flight chat because that those few flights didn't go quite how I expected. Uh, in the end we got it working pretty well, but I wanna I wanna double check 
the CG I was flying at uh, when it was flying better and so I'll just stick this battery in kind of where it was where I was flying and we'll double check the uh, the CG and we'll also check the throws so I'll show you where I was at with my throws let's plug this guy in here uh, luckily we made it out alive with with no damage so she's no worse for wear if I can get the canopy on here. It's good enough for now. Okay, so let's see what we got happening here. So according to my CG machine, um, I don't know if you can see this, we're at 46.8 well, that's very interesting because I moved the. Um, let's see if I can zoom in here. I moved the battery basically. So I started out like this, and I have about maybe an inch or a little more of a gap here. So maybe call it like 30 millimeters. And I moved this all the way up to close that gap, and that moved the CG let me let me see where the CG was initially 48.8 okay so we went from 48.8 to 46.6 uh, not as drastic of a, of a change as I thought but but I think I think Moving it maybe even another millimeter ahead would really tone down the model and make it uh, really nice to fly. Um, so that's that's pretty interesting. Okay, let's let's check to see what the throws are like because I'll I'll tell you. Well, first, so. Um, I know it's hard to see. Oops. I know it's hard to see this, but the both the ailerons are up slightly. So I'm going to measure from the center of the fuselage to the aileron, and it's one and a half millimeters. So I would recommend first flights instead of setting the um, surface neutral with the little de the little feature on the fuselage here that you have both of these up 1.5 millimeters you could say maybe 1 to 2 millimeters but 1.5 is working well for me and then the throws so I was flying this with my ailerons all the way in low rates and it seemed just kinda of perfect so let me let me measure those on the yeah, this will work. Okay, so I have six millimeters up and I make sure I don't deflect the elevator. And about six millimeters down. Let me check the other side too, just, just so I know. Yeah, so six millimeters on the ailerons, both directions, and let's go up. I was flying in mid rates on the elevator because low just wasn't enough. So, full up elevator. I'm at four millimeters. Oh wait, no, sorry, that's that's inches. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Five millimeters up and down. Down looks like six or maybe five and a half. So I would say 
five millimeters up and down like initial settings right you can tune it later how you want but like a safe initial setting elevator five millimeters up and down and ailerons five to six five to seven millimeters left to right uh, I don't have any differential really set up in this um, I don't think I'm not sure about if that's something I want to use I could play around with that later so what did we learn that the they suggested 47 to 48 millimeters on the CG range and I think I would revise that to well at least for this version the electric I would revise that to like 45 to 47 and we learned something about the throws uh, five millimeters up and down, six millimeters left and right should do really well. Um, so I'm gonna think about getting some slightly heavier batteries with more capacity. I was actually very pleasantly surprised with the motor run on these 560s that I got. Um, I think one and a half to two minutes of fast flying is possible. Uh, so very happy with that. That allows it to be more of a sport model and you don't have to thermal it all the time. And the other thing I wanted to talk about is, let me disconnect the battery just so it's safe. The other thing I wanted to talk about is the the pitch angle on the prop or the thrust angle. Uh, so this was cut directly from CCM and uh, I did move the cut back three millimeters but I maintained the same thrust angle. Uh, it really needs some down thrust. I would say like two to three degrees of down thrust would be would be ideal. I could shim the motor but actually I can't shim the motor because there's no there's no space you know with that uh, F5K motor mount to do that. Uh, so I did put that mix in with the uh, throttle to elevator, a little bit of down elevator and that really helped out a bunch. But I'll, I would say if you're gonna build the electric model Put two or three degrees of down thrust, and that should take care of that uh, pitch up problem under power. All right, it was a it was a, a kind of an eventful maiden flight, but I had a lot of fun, and um, I really think this thing's going to be just an awesome plane to fly once I kind of dial it in just a little bit more. I think really I want to try to I want to try to get the CG maybe closer to 45 millimeters, and I think that's just kind of going to gonna tone it down and make it nice and smooth and uh, I also want to try it on the slope I did order a um, slope specific fuselage for it but I could even slope it with this fuselage no problem alright guys I hope you enjoyed the uh, maiden flight video of the CCM Riddick um, it's kind of a fun one and we'll catch you guys in the next video